This entire video is just for me to scratch my beard. <laughs> no. Um. So I got a, a present in the mail today. Um. I got my planner cleansing in the mail. So thank you very much for uh, gifting me this. And I'm kind of feeling bad because the whole drama that happened today, and I just. I guess I wanted to apologize for that too. But I got my planner cleansing, which actually means my uh, red white EDH deck can now be played, albeit not to the effect I'd hope, but can now be played with the strategy I go for. Um, my commander deck, I use um, uh, Gisela as my commander, so when she's out in the field, all of my. Uh, all damage to other players is doubled, all damage to me is halved. <laughs> Beautiful. But I've also got um, a Chroma Angel of Wrath for funsies. Um, but I'm actually going to take him out. And then I've got uh, another angel whose name escaped me at, escapes me at the moment. But it makes all of... Um, it gives all of my monsters vigilance. And they're all indestructible. Um... So what my plan is, um, is I'm going to be playing a deck that will make all of my land cards, as well as all of my enchantments, curse-proof. And then, planar cleansing. Destroy all non-land permanents. Now, that will ensure that all of my enchantments stay on the field, all of my lands stay on the field, all of my monsters stay on the field, everyone else is. Sorry guys. Um, now to get the effect that I want, there's one more card, there's one more card I need to get which will destroy all lands. Um, I forget the name of it off the top of my head right now, but that will literally mean in one play, if I'm very lucky, in one to two plays, I can clear the board of everything except for my board. And I've got a few enchantments that will, um, uh, for every time a monster attacks, I gain a 1-1 one, one human soldier token. So my army continues to grow every time I attack, every single time. And they've all got vigilance. You see where I'm going? Yeah. yeah! So basically, by playing four cards, I can win an EDH deck. If I'm lucky. But yeah. I wanted to thank you very much for sending me that. And um, I can't remember if I sent, if I made a video of this or not, but um, thank you to the person who sent me Admonition Angel. Uh... This one is, this is not inherently necessary to my strategy, but this is definitely a big support card for my strategy. Uh, Admonition, Admonition Angel, flying 6-6, six, six, uh, it's 8 cost. Uh, it has landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may exile, target, non-land permanent other than Admonition Angel. When Admonition Angel leaves the battlefield, return all cards exiled with it to the battlefield under the owner's control. Now, I say it's a good support card because I can exile my um, angel that uh, makes all of my cards indestructible. Um, and when she comes back in the field, not only is do I have an enchantment that will uh, let me gain a 1-1 token every time when I attack. But when she comes back in the field, I get a 1-1 token for uh, her as well. Or no, I get I get two 1-1 soldier tokens for her coming into the field. So I can literally summon her, play Admonition Angel so she's exiled, use Admonition Angel to attack something I know will kill it, which destroys Admonition Angel, bringing her back into the play, bringing another two 1-1 tokens into the field. Then I can play Planar Cleansing. It's that simple. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. My deck is now playable again. 
Um, before it was mostly a uh, red burn deck. I would just like burn cards and do as much damage as I could in one turn with magic. Um, and now I'm I'm slowly been turning it. And you guys have been helping wonders, and I really thank you all. Slowly been turning it to more of a red white angel deck, um, which I really I really love the way angels play in magic, uh, especially older older sets. But yeah, I wanted to thank you for the cards. Um, I want to apologize for the drama that happened earlier today. I love my family arguing in the background. I'm glad you guys can hear that, I'm sure. But, um, yeah. I'm sorry for the drama that happened earlier today. I have not been in a good place the past few days, and today was kind of a boiling over point for me. Um, and I hate to make excuses, but I mean... That was like the worst possible time for me to make a, a frustrating rant. Because I literally just spent 30 minutes in the parking lot of my school looking for parking. Because it's gotta love first day of classes, right? And then top it all off, I delayed my medications until after my class that I... It's really weird. I, I delayed it until after my class because it was supposed to be an exercise class. So I didn't want to take my medicine and then burn through it. Um... And then we didn't do we didn't do any exercise today because first day of class, so I, I skipped my medicine for an hour for no reason, and yeah, it's like worst possible timing, worst possible subject, followed by you know all the way to school. I'd been thinking about thinking about it and all that stuff, and I know I shouldn't, but. <sighs> Just, just how I think of if something goes wrong, I try and figure out how it went wrong, um, so that I can fix the problem next time. I'm in that situation, uh, and I'll do that with other things. I'll, I will think about how, you know, this problem that I didn't even have anything to deal with. I could think about a, a political issue that came up, you know, decades ago. And how how some went wrong, and how they could fix it, how they could have changed that just a little bit, and see if maybe that could have come out with a different uh, outcome. That's just the way I think, you know. I, I try and f I try and think of situations that come up with different outcomes, and then thinking about that one with my current mindset, with having not taken my medications, having been frustrated already because of the parking lot issue, as well as idiots driving. It's just a bad combination, and I'm I'm sorry that whole thing happened. But yeah, um, red white EDH deck looking great so far, uh, and I will tag you all um, the ones who gifted me the two cards. Um, I gotta go look back for Admonition Angel because I know I didn't buy it, uh, and I think I made a video for it. In fact, I'm like I'm a hundred percent sure I made a video for it, and by hundred percent I mean ninety eight percent. But either way. I'll tag you in the in the comments and stuff, so you can see that I did in fact receive the gift. Um, what else is going on? I guess not much, really. Um, started reading Game of Thrones. It's good. Uh, I have issues with Martin's writing style, but it's good. Um, Awkward silence. Right? I know, right? It's like the worst. I have Reese's. I have Reese's. That's, that's also a plus. I've got that going for me, at least. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, my contest. Um, when you watch this in the future, this will be utterly and completely meaningless. My contest does, in fact, end tomorrow. Um, and that is my contest of spreading love to everyone that you can and reminding people that they're loved. And that contest kind of came about from me feeling upset and depressed and just... One way I, I get out of my depression is to make other people happy. And really it doesn't help me out of my depression, it just makes me forget about it. Um, what's, what's the saying? Uh, uh, the saddest people are the ones that smile the most or something. No, I, I'm very much like, um, I don't want to say I'm, I, oh, he's my spirit, I don't know. No, I'm very much like Robin Williams in the aspect that I suffer from a lot of depression and I try and 
try and cover that up by making everyone else smile. Um, it's, it's the idea of making them, ensuring that they don't feel the same way I do. So, either way, um, I will talk to you all later. Uh, I love each and every one of you. Please, please never forget that you are loved. Um, please remember that you are beautiful and you are worthwhile. Uh, it sounds like a script, I know. I say it all the time, and um, it's kind of like my, my motto is, is you are loved, you are beautiful, and just to make sure that people understand that, people understand that I love them. <sighs> yeah. So, sorry, I'm tired. It's 10 o'clock. Yeah, um, I will talk to you all later, I hope, hopefully. Um, please remember that you're worth something. And you, and you are. I, I mean that. And you can do anything you set your mind to. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I do. You can do anything you set your mind to. And that's really all, the only thing stopping you is, that's right there, your thinker. If you can defeat it here, you can defeat it out there. So I'll see you all later. I love you all. Peace. Good luck. Godspeed. And God bless.